Robo Papa. Hey YouTube, it's Robo Papa here. Um, with today's tutorial, I would like to show you how you can communicate between the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino using the RXTX um, pins from the Raspberry Pi and the RXTX pins from the Arduino. And then the Pi will send basically pin number or any command that um, you want to configure to the Arduino and the Arduino via the serial um, communicator will be able to pick it up, parse it and run the command. We're going to do a very simple example of putting three LEDs, different colors on three different pins, um, 8, 9 and 10. And then from the Raspberry Pi serial, we will send one of those pins and in turn the Arduino will read it and turn the LED on for it. So let's get started. Um, what we will need to do, as always, is run the update and the upgrade. So I'll start with the update. It should not take too long because I already ran it before. <laughs> and after that, we will do the upgrade. Um, as a side note, in order for us to actually communicate with the Raspberry Pi via the RXTX, we will need to download the small software. It's called Minicom, and that will allow us to communicate via the serial, um, the serial port. However, the Raspbian has captured already the serial port, so we'll need to go and modify it a little bit. That way we can actually open it up and I'll show you how to do that. So while this one is running, all right, so we'll do now the upgrade. <coughs> okay. Um, so let's go and download and install the Minicom, which I already did before, but I'll show you over here as well. So it basically downloading says to me that there's no newer version, but for you, it will just download it. And then what you want to do is actually go to CD do a CD and then boot, um, so WAC boot. And over here, there should be a file named command, uh, CMD line text. So if we do CLS, and by the way, I'll post a link to my basic Linux commands to, um, tutorial that I posted. Um, so you'll be able to reference the commands over here in case you're not familiar with those. So we do LS minus L for CMD line dxt and you will see it over here but before you change it i recommend that you will make a copy um, and the way i made the copy is just using the cp command so we'll do sudo cp cmd line txt and you give it a name which will be cmd line txt dot um, backup just in case that something doesn't doesn't work. So if we'll once again we'll do CLS CMD line um, dot txt star. Now we should have two files over here. Sorry. Um, so we'll do and I believe I already ran this before. So if we'll do um, CMD line star should have three yeah I already ran it before so let me show you what it used to be um, before I made any changes and judging from the date I need cmd dot backup dot txt so sudo and we'll start with a nano so this is how it used to be and you can see over here the TTY AMA0, that's the serial communicator, and it's already captured by the console, uh, which means that whenever you're starting, uh, Raspberry Pi will capture it. 
So what I did is I went to, I made a copy of it. As you can see, I called it just .backup.txt. And then I went in and I deleted the reference for that, um, the TTYAMA0. So that was the first, the first file. The other file, you need to go to um, the etc. Oops. And over here, this should be like this should be a file name um, in it lab, any tab, sorry. made a backup for it as well over here so let me show you what that one looks like and over here this should be a reference to the ATT as well So you want to delete this basically line and reference it. Um, so if that's the backup file, so if I'll get out of this and I will do the new file, which once again I use the cp command to copy it, and we look, it was all the way to the bottom. I com I comment it out. You can see over here that there's a comment over here. So instead of deleting it, I decided just to comment it out which is similar. Um, so after you're downloading the uh, Minicom now and change those those lines, you'll be able to start sending commands from the from Raspberry Pi via the, the serial command. And in order for you to do that, you need to run the Minicom. And to do that, you need to run this command. So minicom, pseudo minicom minus b, which tells it the baud rate, and we will use the 90, 9600. And minus o, minus capital D, which basically tell, tells the minicom that we want to specify what device and we, will, uh, we want to communicate via. And we'll do the tty ama0. And the AMA, AMA is uh, capital. And that's basically the, the Minicom. And you can send commands over here. So for example, I can send, um, you can send like the, the commands from here, but if you do control Z, that's our control A, then Q, so control A and then Q, you can leave this minicom without resetting. Q. Right, which means that now the minicom captured the ATT AMA um, reference, which means that I can now just run simple command, like um, let's say echo, Eight, and I'll send it to dev dot tty ama zero. Which at this point, my Raspberry Pi will send the number eight to Adreno, which Adreno then in turn listen to the serial, and it will pick up the eight, and it knows oh I need to turn the LED on uh, pin eight. So now you can see the green light actually turn on and then off. So if I'll do echo nine to the TTY AMA zero, that will turn the yellow. And my red is connected to pin 10. And you can see the pin 10 is turned on. If I'll try to send like a number that it's not valid, nothing actually will happen. So, um, 
here's a, like a small schematic of or a diagram of how you can connect um, the all the pins and the wires. Um, I'm using the one two three D circuits, and it's really nice because what you can do over here, you can actually run a simulator. So you can actually write code over here, which is like the Arduino code. And after you're connecting your serial, um, or sorry, after you connect all your components, you can actually write the code and then start simulating it. So over here in the serial monitor, I can actually send eight, which should turn so it turns over here the red. If I send nine, it should turn off the red and turn on the yellow, which it did. I'm sure that it's hard to see, so let me zoom in a little bit. And then if I'll send 10, it will turn the yellow and turn the green on. And it's a very nice uh, software. I'm not going to go over it right now, but just wanted to show you how the connections are uh, with the resistors, etc. So that's basically it. That's how you can actually send commands from Raspberry Pi using the RXTX uh, for the serial and let Arduino um, listen to the serial port. I will post in uh, a link um, down below on the description to my website where you can download the code that did that uh, but it's a very straightforward so let me know what you think if you have any questions um, please ask and I'll try to answer to my best knowledge and uh, please uh, like and subscribe thanks